Hello, and welcome to the Information Literacy Lessons at the University Libraries. This lesson is Part 2, using the Library Catalog Database Aleph. In this lesson, you will review using the advanced search functions of Aleph. If you have not completed Part 1 of this lesson on the basic search functions, please do so before starting Part 2. The advanced search page in Aleph allows you to do focused searching of the University Library's collections. You will want to use the Advanced Search page for most of your searches. The Advanced Search page has three distinct sections, the Change Library field at the top of the page, Enter Words to Search fields in the center of the page, and the Optional Limits field at the bottom of the page. The Change Library field allows you to choose which library you are going to search. The default setting is University of South Dakota. This means you are searching the catalog of the main library, just above the purple toolbar you will see in black font, you are searching USD University Libraries. Before opening the Change Library menu, look at the optional limits fields. Choices include limiting by format, by language, by years, and by collection. This allows you to specify which collection in the main library you want to limit your search to, such as the reference collection, government documents, or other specialized collections in our holdings. This option is only available when University of South Dakota is selected as the library you want to search. Now go to the Change Library menu and select USD All Libraries. This will expand your search to include the catalogs of the Medical Library and the Law Library in addition to the catalog of the Main Library. Notice as well that the default setting takes you to the Basic Search Page screen. Clicking on the Advanced Search link in the yellow toolbar returns you to the Advanced Search screen. Look again at the Optional Limits fields. Notice that the Collection field is no longer available. Let's return to the USD University Libraries. The search fields in the middle section remain constant and includes fields labeled Search for Word or Words in, Enter Words to Search, and Search As buttons. The Search for Words In field offers more choices than what is available in the basic search screen. You can choose to search for words in the text, subject, title, or name of the authors. You can also search by the format of an item or use call numbers to retrieve specific items. The Enter Words to Search section is where the bulk of your searching takes place in the Aleph Catalog database. You have three Enter Words to Search fields for your search terms. Located just to the right of the Enter Words to Search fields are the Search As buttons. These buttons let you search using keywords or phrases. Phrase searching is useful when you want to search the Aleph database for exact phrases such as expressions or titles. Phrase searching is also useful if you know only part of an article's title. You must be sure that you enter the phrase exactly as it appears in the item you are looking for. If you are not certain what the exact phrase is, then select Word Searching. There are two Boolean operator boxes located on the far left side of the browser page. The default Boolean operator that appears in each of these two boxes is the operator AND. Clicking on the blue box with the down arrow allows you to choose from the three operators AND, OR, and NOT. The operator AND lets you search for multiple terms, thus narrowing your search. The operator OR lets you search for items containing either one or both terms. This broadens your search. The operator NOT lets you exclude unwanted terms, thus narrowing your search. You will learn more about using Boolean operators in Part 3 of the Aleph Catalog lesson. The third section of the Aleph Advanced Search page is the Optional Limits section, which we've already discussed. A useful limiter for many searches is the Year From and To limiter. You can select a range of years for the Aleph database to retrieve materials. Use these optional limiters when you need to refine your search. The more limiters you add to a search, the more restrictive the search will become. Be careful to avoid using too many limiters, especially when you are at the beginning of the research process. This lesson has covered the physical layout of the advanced search page in the Aleph Catalog database. Part 3 of the Alf Catalog lesson covers using the optional limiters function to search specific collections within the University Library's catalog and using the Boolean operator terms to focus your search for more information.